the faith of Noah. Hebrews 11 and verse 7 By faith Noah, being divinely warned of things not yet seen, moved with godly fear, prepared an ark for the saving of his household, by which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which is according to faith. Look at the life of Noah. Noah is an example of faith. Noah is a man who uh, believed God when you know something that God spoke to him about, which is rain, had never happened on the face of the earth. A flood had never happened uh, before. You know it, it happened in Noah's times. Uh, so what do we do when God? calls us to uh, put our faith in Him for the impossible. Uh, what happens when God calls us to trust Him uh, and, and He speaks to us and He says, this is what I'm going to do and that has never happened before. No, uh, uh, can we like Noah put our faith in God? Uh, and just look at Noah. It, it says that Noah moved with godly fear. He knew God for who he was. So Noah had godly fear. He honored and he revered God, which is why he believed when God spoke to him and he never doubted the word of God that it's going to pour. And Noah prepared an ark for the saving of his household. Noah put an effort before the flood. Noah uh, constructed the ark. Now this was not something that was done in a day, but you know, it, it took it took a really, really long time. And think about all that could have happened to Noah. You no, know, because he believed in the promise of God and the people had never seen rain, Noah could have become a laughing stock. You know, what about us today when the Lord gives us a promise and nobody has seen uh, uh, that promise ever? be fulfilled before. People could laugh at us as we uh, walk by faith, as we live by faith, as we trust God uh, that we are going to see uh, God move in, in, a, in a powerful way. Even as we live out that life of faith, doing what God has called us to do today, to see His promise fulfilled tomorrow. Uh, you know, people could be saying all kinds of things about us, but like Noah, can we hold on in faith? And, and the Bible tells us that Noah was tagged with the term righteousness. Genesis 7, 1 uh, calls Noah righteous. How did Noah become righteous? Noah became righteous because of his faith. He believed sincerely that God could do the impossible, something that people have never seen. And these scriptures also tell us that uh, Noah condemned the world, right? He condemned the world uh, and became heir of righteousness. How did Noah condemn the world? For 120 years, when he was warning the people that it's going to to reign, and nobody believed him. But Noah didn't go around accusing people. His faithfulness to the promise was good enough to bring a condemnation on the people. So uh, in this case, you know, when it says Noah condemned, it doesn't mean he accused, but Noah's life of faithfulness was a testimony in itself where people knew that they are being disobedient to God. And finally, the floods came and Noah's family was saved because he was a man of obedience. He was a man of faithfulness. And as the Bible calls him, by faith, he was a man who was righteous. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the life of Noah. God, like Noah, give us, Lord, the grace to hold on while, Lord, nothing seems to be moving, Lord, uh, in our lives right now. Father, uh, though we, we may sense darkness all around us, Father God, help us, help us to stand on your word, Lord, help us, O oh Father, to embrace, uh, Lord, the fulfillment of that promise which is to come, O oh God. And Lord, we know, like Noah, God, the floods will come and your promise will be fulfilled in our lives. We thank you once again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.